Yeah, the Minnesota Fighting Vikings have had a string of very close near-rung things. And, of course, er every fan and also every team wants to win every single game 48 to nothing, right? They just absolutely blow the doors off their opponent. No muss, no fuss, no drama, all that stuff. But actually uh, winning these close drama-filled games, week three against Detroit, week four against the Saints, is actually good. And we're going to go over five reasons why actually it's good. There you go. For reason number one. It's better than losing. Now, this comes in as a new no poop Sherlock point, but it actually is. Like, would you rather be playing marginally the last couple weeks and being three and one, still a lot of room for improvement, or would you uh, want to play perfectly and then you just get boned at the end, whether bad luck or officiating or whatever, and be one and three? It's actually a legit question. Uh, but, mm, yes, 3-1, and one, you are what your record says, you are getting it done, etc. Next up, reason number two why it's actually better to win these close games, builds character. Now, where last couple years, like, like going back to all the way to 2021, all of the close games that the Vikings gave away it, it set a record for one-score games. Uh, the Vikings were leading in most of these games by six points plus, but week one against the eventual Super Bowl participant Bengals, ah, and then Arizona, Greg Joseph. Uh, and then giving that one at home away against the Browns, 14-7, to gross. Uh, and then almost giving it away uh, against Detroit and Carolina back-to-back, -back, but you got a, uh, a win there. Uh, the week eight uh, against the Cowboys last year. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. We, we started the Cooper Rush rush. Come on, man. And then the Ravens game, just the defense wore down at the end, gave that one away. Uh, and then the Detroit game, of course, giving Detroit their first win last season uh, in the Motor City. It hurts. It hurts. So wouldn't have been nice to win a couple of those games, especially since the Vikings still managed to go 8-9 and nine just standing outside the fire of the playoffs. And th that's the thing about the NFL. Every single game is that like that razor thin like it, it 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 is pretty close to a coin toss it's 51 49 and you don't know which side you're on you don't know which side it's going to be right uh, and it that does build character within the team because i mean we're all humans and we're all emotional beings so, uh, so when some of those teams over the last couple years uh of the zimmer regime like when they got into a tight situation in the back of their mind they're thinking We've been here before. We've lost these games. Same old sorry ass Vikings. All right. So I mean, players are human. I mean, they go through all the coach, uh, coach and player speak that they want, but in the back of their minds, they're thinking, okay, here we go again. We've seen this movie before, but now the movie's changed, man. Uh, the Vikings uh, against the Lions and the Vikings against the Saints. All of a sudden, it's like, hey, we've been here before. Doesn't matter how you got here, but let's make one play on on this play. Let, let's let's get the ball back uh, on this possession. Let's do this. Let's do that. Right. So the fact that you've been in tight games before, it's like working a muscle. The more reps that you get, the stronger it's going to be. Uh, next up. Reason number three why these close games are actually good, I'm building a momentum. So it, it builds off a point, too, where, hey, you, you string a couple of these close games together. Uh, again, yes, they should have taken care of business against the Lions. Yes, they should have uh, blown out the uh, Saints, but it, it is what it is. Uh, but the fact that you're winning these close games, all of a sudden, next time you get into a close game, uh, it, whether it's down the line, whether it's in the playoffs, it's like, oh, we've been here before. We've done, uh, been there, done that, got the T-shirt, so no problem. And the, the players, they know that they can rely on each other because they've been in this situation before. The coaches have been through these spots. I think it's really important for Kevin O'Connell and this new staff uh, to get through these tight situations because I think it helps with game management. I think it helps with, hey, we, we've we seen this before. We've, we've seen this pattern recognition. We can get through this. Uh, point number four. No arrogance. So you, you see this uh, not so much in the NFL, but you definitely see this in college. You definitely see this in uh, like high school sports uh, where you have a team that is blowing the doors off of every single opponent, you know, 41 to six, you know, 52 to three, all, all that stuff. And the week after week after week, it's just like smooth sailing. We're the best. And uh, all the press is saying that we're the best. All the pollsters say that we're the best. Blah, 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 blah. But then they get into a fight. Like they get into an actual fight, and it's close in, into late into the second half, and they're winded because they're not used to playing into the fourth quarter. Uh, they're used to having a running clock uh, at the end if this is a high school game or Syracuse <laughs> against Wagner uh, on Saturday. But uh, them, they're not tested, and that goes into the building character, building momentum thing. And the Vikings, I mean, 
Obviously, the Vikings have a lot of room for improvement. You know who knows that more than anyone? Every single player, every single coach in that locker room. And it really does build into point number five that this is the perfect scenario for Kevin O'Connell and this team and this coaching staff where, hey, still counts the same in the win column. You're still three and one, but you understand that you can't have this every single week. You got to understand that you have to improve in these situations and scenarios. So it's the best of both worlds where you get the wins, but you still have that chip on that shoulder. You still have that drive. You still show up for practice on Wednesday. It's like, hey, we have to get better. We cannot have this be like this anymore. And you see it where teams, it does, it always seems like teams that have, momentum going into the playoffs whether they had to you know it's been a playoff since week 14 where they have to keep winning uh, to get something going it seems like carrying that momentum or you know constantly being in dog fights constantly being in close games and then just getting it done those teams seem to do better in the playoffs versus a team that um, you know was 13 and 0 or 12 and 1 and cinched up the one seed with a couple weeks left to play rested their starters it, it just seems like having that momentum having being in those trenches uh, before being in those close games and coming out on top it just success brings success and I, I i don't care if you win by an inch or a mile a win is a win and that still counts as success in this league uh, so that the fact that the vikings are stacking up these close wins as opposed to stacking up close losses like they have in previous years that's key that is important so now hopefully they can build on it and then hopefully the rest of the way it, it isn't as drama filled right because i mean we'll certainly take uh, a, a double digit win every single week but a win is a win. We'll take it from there. But uh, your thoughts are thoughts. Five reasons why actually uh, winning these close games is a good thing for the 2022 Vikings. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once you put the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.